Memory chips also memory or memory storage are designed to record and store data arrays or, in other words, sets, tables and groups of digital codes. Each code is stored as a separate memory element called a memory cell. The main function of any memory is to generate these codes on the chip outputs in response to the external query. The main parameter described in the memory is its volume, that is the number of codes that it can store and the number of bits of such codes. The number of memory cells is normally indicated using the following measurement units. 1K is 1024 cells, that is 2 to the 10th power. 1M is 1,048,576 cells, that is 2 to the 20th power. 1G is 1,073,000. 1,741,824 cells or 2 to the 30th power. The principle of memory organization is recorded in the following way. Number of cells followed by the multiplication sign, sideline cross. The size of the code stored in one cell. For example, if memory organization is described by 64K times 8, the memory has 64 kilobytes, 8-bit cells. The 4M times 1 memory organization means that the memory has 4M 1-bit cells. The total memory volume is measured in bytes or bits. Depending on the way the data is recorded and stored, there exist the various types of memory chips. Permanent storage, ROM or read-only memory, is used to record data only once at the stage of manufacturing the chip. This memory is also referred to as the mask ROM. The data stored in the ROM doesn't get erased if the power is disconnected, but is, which is why it is sometimes called the non-volatile memory. Programmable read-only memory PROM, is used to record information using special methods for a limited number of time. The data stored in the PROM also remains untouched when power is disconnected which means that the PROM also belongs to the non-volatile memory. RAM or random access memory is used to record data in a very simple way and for as many times as the user wishes during the chip's lifetime. If power is disconnected, the data stored in the memory gets erased. There exist many intermediary memory types and many subtimes, but the ones indicated represent the most important ones that are principally different from each other. In a general case, any memory chip has the following information outputs. Address, incoming, outputs that from the memory address bus. The code on address lines is represented by a 2-bit memory cell number that has been addressed at the given moment. The number of address bits determines the number of memory cells. If there are n address bits, the number of memory cells would be equal to 2 to the nth power. Data outgoing outputs that form the memory data bus. The code on data lines is represented by the content of the memory cell, which has been addressed as at the given moment. The number of data bits determines the number of bits of all the memory cells normally can be equal to 1, 4, 8, and 16. In the case of RAM, apart from the outgoing data bus, there may be an incoming data bus to which the code recorded in the selected memory cell is supplied. Another possible option is the combination of the incoming and outgoing data buses or a bidirectional bus where the direction of data transmission is set by the control signal. The bidirectional bus is normally used when the data bus has four bits and more. There are also the control incoming outputs that define the chip's operation mode. In the majority of cases, the memory has a chip selection of or CS input. The RAM also has a write input WR, the active signal level on which switches the chip to the write mode. 